Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com. We have Bitcoin on my chart. The timer has started. This is only paper trading advice, not real money advice. If you want to learn how to trade, how to place orders from zero to being able to place and modify orders, there is a video in the top right corner of this video right here which shows you exactly that. In 20 minutes I will show you how to become a trader on TradingView with paper trading including the usage of uh, indicators and my candle scanner which you can get for free if you join the promising traders tribe which is free as well and will give you strategies and um, useful information to keep you wealthy. Also uh, this is a technical analysis video so if you are watching this video hoping to receive good vibes about uh, Bitcoin no, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to give you what I believe is going to happen more than good vibes. So if you want to stop watching the video right now, you can, because that's not what you're going to have. If you want to watch that kind of video, you need to watch somebody else. I am a trader and I do my technical analysis. So let's begin. Also, please, if you enjoy these videos, like them, subscribe to the channel, share the videos with your friends or whoever, uh, whatever social platform you, you work. If you dislike the video, I need to know why. If you dislike the video because you don't like that I'm saying that Bitcoin is going to drop, well, I'm sorry, again, this is technical analysis and you're watching the wrong person. So, uh, monthly view, we have this piercing pattern is not a piercing pattern, actually. But yeah, let's say it is a piercing pattern, but it's not. So this, this signal is not correct. So we have a green candle because uh, since before yesterday Bitcoin made a rally, which by the way, let me show you something, um, BTC USD on Bitstamp, which is the one that I have used, oh, interesting, ah oh, yeah, because I'm not showing the images, is the one that I have used to show the zigzag, possible zigzag that I was foreseeing. And there we have it, you know, uh, I was anticipating that Bitcoin was going to rally. Um, I was anticipating that Bitcoin was going to rally even more and then was going to keep dropping here, you see? And this is what I still believe is going to happen. This rally is nothing, uh, BTC, USD, and it needs it needs confirmations. If we want, but let, let's go back to the weekly first. So in the weekly charts, we can see that Bitcoin is still on a downtrend, RSI did absolutely nothing and above all Bitcoin just reached halfway through this candle here, look, didn't go any higher than this halfway through candle which is what I usually tell you is the hidden resistance or support after a rally, in this case a rally down, there was this. Yes, okay, it went up to 10,500 and more. Uh, how much exactly? Uh, 10,540 and 49 dollars. But, you know, let's go to the daily and surprise, we have a huge, gigantic shooting star. What does it mean? Well, if somebody, this is not a clickbait, in fact, if somebody tells you that Bitcoin is going to go to 15,000 after seeing this, well, I'm, I'm really sorry, but it's just because they want you to watch their videos. Uh, Bitcoin is not yet, at least, showing any reversal signal. And it's obvious because we have a shooting star. A shooting star at this resistance here. Okay? So, what do we want to see now? If we want Bitcoin to go up, we need Bitcoin to close above this, which at the moment it doesn't seem like it's very likely, quite frankly. And as I was saying, this is, in my opinion, still, even though there is no confirmation of this, it's a mere spe speculation. This is just a B wave in the zigzag, in the corrective zigzag of this Elliott wave. So A, B, C. And that's what I still foresee happening. Okay, maybe even more. So, yes, it could go higher, quite frankly, it does, and um, there will be, I wouldn't be surprised that this may simply be the first alert that things are not going to go high, and maybe it will close higher than this, 
and maybe we reach probably this high here the most that I foresee happening and then we will have another reversal signal probably and then we will see Bitcoin dropping or not but at the moment let's focus on what is here at the moment on a daily view we have this huge shooting star we have yes a crossover well there wasn't really a crossover but yes there was a crossover of the of MACD RSI is just barely on 60 or it went slightly above 60 but this is a huge rejection this is a huge rejection are we done with people shorting Bitcoin as soon as it rallies up or not we don't know what I am certain about is that I I never seen the 55 MA crossing the 233 MA that easy and I was expecting this rally because it's normal it's not gonna happen like you know snapping the fingers um, and so yeah now we need to see what happens in the daily view we cannot see much more than this but if we go in the six hours for instance we can already see that MACD is about to is starting to show some reversals but you know MACD is not really the most reliable tool uh, it looks like Bitcoin is consolidating actually at uh, about uh, 9000 ish okay and I don't think it will go away I mean I don't think it will drop suddenly it will probably make a, a higher close at, for sure we need to see if it's going to close above this high because if it doesn't it's like in, it's like in the monthly view when I said here the, this red shooting star here it's exactly the same stuff you see if Bitcoin doesn't close above this yeah, I'm sorry but it's going to drop and at the moment it's only dropping in my opinion it's not still showing anything in a three hours Bitcoin is showing a possible reversal of MACD to be honest I don't think it's gonna happen to be honest I do believe it's going to rally and it's going to close above the 38.2 percent retracement indeed and then we will need to see whether or not it made a new high on RSI and in that case we will already start to see if there is some weakness in some divergence at the moment there is no divergence at the moment if we check just RSI um, uh, the indicators it looks like it's going to drop I don't think it's going to drop so I don't trust the indicators at the moment and if we check in fact in the hour we can see the other way around we can see that first here we had a double bounce on RSI but the price action was immensely high so this is the first reversal signal now RSI is literally bouncing over 50 with MACD looking like it's about to make a crossover so I still am under the impression that we will see another rally Bitcoin closing today or maybe not not necessarily today actually maybe tomorrow in in few days Bitcoin will be able to close above 9320 possibly touching 38.2 at this point sorry I was I was watching the wrong time frame and then we will need to see what happens if we see another reversal signal well there are two confirmations that the price is going to drop and so yep this is my analysis we need to see what happens I would not expect this is not the value of Bitcoin this is not Bitcoin value Bitcoin doesn't have its right value in my opinion the right value of Bitcoin is much much more than what I can see here in the chart but it's not yet time to go, to go there it's not yet time it's time for a correction right now and that's what we are assisting I may be wrong in fact you know always be cautious but I am not according to my analysis I am not under the impression that there is a reversal here really anyway I hope you enjoyed the video please let me know what you think and if you don't like the video again please let me know why you dislike the video please don't say you dislike the video because you don't you don't like the fact that I'm saying dropping because the the price action as far as I can see Bitcoin goes up and down yep yeah. so yeah it can go up and down so you know in this case I think it's going to go down and 
I got only 50% chances to get it right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great Sunday and I will see you tomorrow with another update. Bye-bye.